Life is a game board. Time is your opponent. If you procrastinate, you will lose the game. You must make a move to be victorious. A very good morning and a warm welcome to one and all present here. I, Bhargav Sen Bhomik. And I, Joan Ross Chandadil. Are the hosts for today's event. It gives us immense pleasure to welcome our Honorable Vice Principal, Ani Ma'am, Secondary Supervisor, Savita Ma'am, parents, teachers, and my dear friends. The presence of our role models gives us an air of confidence and pleasure and cheer to the event. To demand more of yourself than you do of others is the first on any ladder to success. Parker, are you acquainted with this adage? Yeah, it's a celebrated one. I'm unaware of the name of its composer. These inspiring words were said by the wizard of hockey. Major Dhyan Chand Singh. He scored 570 goals in 185 matches and won three gold medals for India. World's envy and India's pride. And today, 29th August, is a remarkable day in our history. It's Major Dhyan Chand Singh's birth anniversary. So, to throw some more light on the importance of this day, I would like to call upon Rajeshri Gupta. मुश्किलों से भाग जाना होता है आसान जिंदगी का हर पल होता है इम्तिहान डरने वालों को जिंदगी में मिलता नहीं कर्ज लड़ने वालों के कदमों में होता है जहां अ वेरी वॉर्म मॉर्निंग टू एवरीवन टुडे 29th अगस्त इज सेलिब्रेटेड एज द नेशनल स्पोर्ट्स डे टू कमेमोरेट द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ द हॉकी लेजेंड मेजर ध्यानचंद सिंह हु इज वर्ल्ड वाइड नोन एज द विजिट ऑफ हॉकी मेजर ध्यानचंद was a great magician of hockey and he proved that with utmost efforts and determination you can gain perfection to turn your work into unbelievable magic after putting his stamp on international hockey arena and having served his country to reach its pinnacle of glory multiple times he was a legendary figure in indian and world hockey the most noted nano memorials for him were the major dhyanchand award the highest award for lifetime achievement in sports and games in india and national sports day celebrations on his birthday there is no one who has reached his level in hockey this day is observed to raise awareness about the worth of sports and daily activities in life and discovering the magnitude of being fit hale and hearty thank you thank you rajeshri one can only gain skills with determination practice and diligence skills are your strongest weapons hence it is important to spend time working on your skills now our friends mariam sayed priya mange rishika bin tanish tanish thakur and avni zingade shall display their wonderful skills of hula hooping that was indeed graceful the key is not the will to win but the will to prepare to win you can't always be the most talented in the room but you can always be the most competitive for sure looking at the importance of competition we call upon janvi agarwal a quiz mistress who would put forth some questions to rack your brain into thinking about advancement in sports a very good morning to everyone I am Janvi Agarwal, your quiz mistress. So let's test the knowledge buds 
with a short quiz on sports. You can raise your hands to answer the question. Only 15 seconds will be allotted to you to answer the question. Let's start with the quiz. The first question is, which three words make up the Olympic motto? The clues are, first, these three words in Latin means sitius, fortius, altius. The second clue is, these words were mentioned to encourage athletes participating in Olympics. Your time starts now. I would like Rishika Bin to go forward answering this question. The answer is faster, higher, and stronger. Are you sure? Yes. The, yes, that's absolutely correct. The answer is faster, higher, stronger. The second question is, identify the sports person. Your time starts very inside to go forward answering this question. Yes, that's absolutely correct. But can you please tell me her full name? This question is open to everyone. Looks like no one knows the answer. It's okay. Let me tell you. Her full name is Pillabula Kandi Theke Parambil Usha. The next question is In a soccer game, a player touched the ball with his hands, but he was not given any penalty. Why? Your time starts now. I would like Mahaya Mangoria to go forward answering this question. Because he was the uh, goalkeeper. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, that's absolutely correct. Thank you. I am sure this interactive quiz has further widened everyone's zeal in sports. That's great. We acquire knowledge in any field through zeal. And without zeal, we get no knowledge. So here we have our zealous friends presenting before you a group dance.
Graceful and persuasive, the sports center dance truly embedded a charm on its viewers about the progressive sports. Throughout human history, we have enjoyed a wide range of sports. So here's Sridhya telling us about the history of sports and evolution and advancement between today's era and our previous one. The word sport comes from the old French word disco, meaning leisure, which means anything humans find amusing or pleasing. According to our Vedic mythology, India started with chariot racing, hunting, and one of the most popular sports among every kid nowadays, hide and seek, gilly danda, kancha, sitolia, we have come a long way. Today, many sports receive great engrossment and respect, although cricket is the most respected one. The reason is that most fields of study, technology, enthusiasm, and help in all aspects have directed the attention of sports enthusiasts towards less popular sports, thus increasing their visibility. Now, let's watch a video on the evolution of sports then versus now. history in sport. The future belongs to people who learn various skills and combine them in creative ways. And repetition is the mother of skill. So once again, we have our friends displaying their skills. This time, Hate Trivedi and Ibrahim Khan shall be showing their dribbling skills.
was amazing. Knowledge and power are synonyms. The one who has knowledge is the one who wields the power. Indeed. So wouldn't it be challenging to have more questions as the prior ones? More difficult is the victory. Greater happiness in winning. Sports teaches you character. It teaches you how to play by rules. It teaches you to know what it feels like to lose and win. Very good morning to everyone. I am Kartik Swaminathan, your quiz master for round 2. So, let's test our knowledge buds with a short question based on sports. Parents, teachers as well as students can answer the question. The rules told previously, which were raising your hands to answer each question, as well as 15 seconds allotted for each question, shall remain the same. So, here is the fourth question. Can you identify the following sports person from this picture? Your time starts now. Yes, Katalia, kindly unmute yourself and go forward answering this question. Yeah, I think the answer is Smriti Mandana. I'm sorry that answer is incorrect, ma'am. The correct answer for this question is Mitali Raj. Here is the fifth question. What are the colors of the Olympic rings? And the clues are, it is the combination of primary colors and two other colors. It includes the darkest color and the combination of red and green. Your time starts now. I request Tanish to unmute yourself and go forward answering this question. Yeah, I think the colors are Red, blue, yellow, and black. Okay, are you sure? Yes. Okay, that's an incorrect answer. I'm sorry. The correct answer to this question should also add green. So the correct answer is blue, yellow, black, green, and red. Here's the question number six. Can you identify the sprinter from the following picture? And your clue is he is the fastest person in the world. Your time starts now. I would request Nishika Bin to unmute yourself and go forward answering this question. He is Usain Bolt. Yes, absolutely correct. The correct answer to this question is Usain Bolt. Also, I'd like to mention he is the fastest sprinter in the world for 100 meters as well as 200 meters. His record time for 100 meters is 9.58 seconds. Thank you. Everyone loves sports, irrespective of their age. Parents are often the primary socializing agents for getting their children involved, often teaching the first steps referring to sports skills. Let us watch some amusing and sporty moments of our parents.
that it was indeed wonderful watching the parents spending their leisure time with their children. It's incredible when skills and passion come together. The ability to learn is a skill, and learning is the most important skill. As said by Albert Einstein, once you stop learning, you start dying. And now our friends Kanisha Thakur and Vinayak Sharma will be exhibiting the magnificent skills of skipping. People always have a thirst for exploring new things by the spirit of inquiry and curiosity. So, would it be challenging to have another cycle of curiosity test? No wonder you stole my words. So, let's once again call our quiz mistress to have another short quiz. Knowledge has a beginning but no end. A very good morning to one and all present here. I, Nitanya Singh, is your quiz mistress for today. So let's check your knowledge of sports by answering a few questions. Remember that the rules are going to be the same. So here we begin. Your first question is, identify this fun game from the following image. And the time starts now. I would like Vinayak Sharma to unmute himself and answer this question. This game is known as Laguri. Yes, you are absolutely correct. The correct answer is Lagori. Lagori. But do you know how is this game being played? Yeah. yeah, there are six stones and the ball is to be thrown on that. Yes, you are absolutely correct. I'll brief you more. There are six stones. There are two teams with minimum seven and nine players. People make stack of stones and they throw ball on them. Thank you. Uh, so, your next question is, Saikom Mirabhai Chanu, who won the first silver medal in weightlifting ever for India, in which category? And your clues are, China's Hu Zui Hui won gold medal in this category. And your time starts now. I would like Yash Katale to unmute himself and answer this question. Are you go with snatch and jerk? Sorry, could snatch you and jerk jerk? lift. No, that's an incorrect answer. The correct answer is 49 kg. Thank you. A sports person cannot perform with money in his pockets. He must perform with hope in his heart and dream in his head. Sports not only builds character, it reveals it. Never say never. Believe in yourself and ultimately make it happen. Sports is important to both our physical and mental health. To elaborate further on the significance of sports, I would like to call upon Nishtha Chha. There's a classical saying that a healthy mind can reside only in a healthy body. And there is no scope of debate on sports being the ace factor for good health. Hello everyone, my name is Nishtha Jha and I'm going to share some thoughts and value of sports. The first thing that comes in my mind is that sports teaches about practice, perseverance and performance. Further, it is pertinent to appreciate the value of participation, team spirit, selflessness and giving one's best consistent. Of late, science and technology have been a huge contributor 
towards excelling in sports at any level. Having been student of this esteemed school for a decade now, I feel proud to have witnessed the seriousness and importance that Anil Dharma fraternity extends besides urging the students to participate in various sports. Our annual sports day is nothing less than a sacred ritual. Every year, we invite a sports person of national and global repute to share the knowledge and insight on the significant role that sports play in our lives. I'm sure you all have enjoyed as I have done. Showcasing the same attitude, not only how we continued with our regular curriculum and studies, but also all the extracurricular activities have been undertaken well with the extraordinary support of our esteemed school management, principal ma'am, vice principal ma'am, supervisors, and our beloved teachers. This proves that we Dalmians are ably nourished and nurtured to take things equally well, both offline and online, including our significant sports day. Last but not the least, every leading sports person believes that sports are a great leveler. You win some and you lose some. The real character comes out on how you behave in both victory and loss. Now let's watch a video depicting sports activities conducted at school. Thank you. Have a great day ahead. journey has its end. Every path stops somewhere. With this, we come to the end of this event. I would like to call upon Rajeshri Gupta to deliver the vote of thanks. Greetings of the day to one and all. 
I am Rajeshri Gupta, and it is my honor to formally propose the vote of thanks. I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to the CEO of Anil Dharmia Educational Society and the principal of Anil Dharmia High School, our secondary vice principal, Annie Ma'am, and the secondary supervisor, Sabita Ma'am, for their graceful presence and being a guiding light. I would also like to extend my gratitude to our dance teacher, Karima Ma'am, for all the efforts and putting up such a grand show. Last, but not least, I would like to thank all our grade 8 teachers and students for working relentlessly and making this celebration a huge success. I would also like to thank our technical team for all their help and support. Thank you and have a good day. I now request everyone to rise for the National Anthem. Jack a dull boy is a very famous English proverb. Hello everyone, I am Rinal Gonsalves, sports teacher. Sports are a very crucial part of everyone's life as it helps to learn virtues like teamwork, coordination, also helps to keep the body strong, healthy and develops confidence too. They shape one's personality and relaxes the mind and body. Here at NL Dalmia High School, we organize a number of sports activities for students for their holistic development. The pandemic did not deter our spirits. We organize online physical activities and sports for the students. Thank you.